Hello, welcome to this tutorial. I'm going to give you a quick breakdown of this project real quick. So I created some cubes. I set the origin to the bottom by clicking the 3D cursor object set origin to 3D cursor. And you can either create one cube for each uh, soundtrack. So one for a kick, one for a snare, one for a bass, one for a vocal, etc. And size them differently. Go into uh, edit mode, size them differently. Um, or you can know you can do whatever you want. You can create them as one object and put a gradient shader. This is kind of what I have, but I put a piece of glass in front of it um, to begin with to give it different effects. Um, so if you look at this right quick, I had this this on here. I have everything baked to the F curve so if you take your square and you have the origin on the bottom and you go to your square and you go to the graph editor you go key bake sound to F curve find your sound and maybe you want one square with a kick one snare one bass etc and it'll bake the sound of the S curve so then it will pop in that way now you can go to anything you can do you can animate anything that you can press I on so you go to the shader editor and you press I on this. Well, it's already baked, but if you press I on this and put a keyframe in, go to the graph editor. We click on the the thing right here. Go to the graph editor. Bake the keyframes. And you can do that with anything that you can animate. So I I I I. Right? You can you can bake the F curves to anything. You can bake the F curves to the color. So you can change the color over time. You can change the color if you put the color right here blue press I can't do it but because it's baked but if you go over here and press green then it'll go blue green it'll animate to green so anyways that's pretty much a quick rundown right here I have on um, the visualizer parented control P to this so and this is a um, imagine these are good buildings and they're they they have windows and all this and it's a city move this through it you can pair the visualizer to it and have your song playing and you have a little city in the background if you animate the camera moving through the city right so that's one idea um, one of the problems I had was when I had individual squares I tried to duplicate them put up put on a rigid body uh, active and have them associate have them interact with this as the, the the original one as a passive. Let's click green frame. So I'd have have basically I'd have a uh, them on top of this and then go up and down with the visualizer. This didn't work because whenever I duplicated this and created a passive sort of barrier around it, the the actives didn't stay inside of the passive and they didn't bounce off the top. And to explain what I'm saying in a classic. In a classic visualizer, you have traditional, a lot of them, you have the little squares on top, right? And they bounce up, bounce off the top of it, okay? And then they come down, and then you have little streaks. So that's one thing I wasn't able to accomplish because the passive and actives weren't wor working correctly, which I would have to probably research to look up more. Anyways, I have, I have uh, this little object baked, system F curves. So there's a lot of different things you can do. Um, I'm going to show you right quick my the project or more or less the um, I have the other one rendering so this is the one I made I made a little smiley face this is baked to the F curve so it sizes up with the track I have glass in front of it I have a wireframe emission behind it and these are all baked to individual sounds so it's like kick ha or kick hat snare and etc on top of this of the song I made and that's all all. you'd have to export the sounds on the individual track to bake them in so then you know it's pretty self-explanatory or you go over here and then you bake in the individual sound to an individual square that's pretty much all I got to say I made a really long tutorial before this one so this one's about five minutes so have a good one I hope you got everything that I was trying to explain to you out of this one more note you can add a modifier and add a keyframe on here and then bake the F curves so in the graph editor key, baked up curves. Also, if you go over here, 
you can add a curve modifier, F curve noise. Then you can edit that here. I wasn't really trying to get into anything that's a beginner, so I was I was trying to make this more of a intermediate friendly. So that's all I got. Have a good day. I hope someone uses this, but I hope if you know how to make the squares interact on top of these, or if you know how to make a better one, or if you have a link to a better visualizer or some cool effects that you did, then let me know. Basically, I just have the bloom on here, and uh, that gives it the glow and stuff. But this is just this is just a simple one. This was a scratch scrap one. I was just making a tutorial with it. So have a good one.